Hello and thanks for joining me on this new episode. I haven't I haven't been doing this for a while, but I think there's a need to, you know, speak up, especially against things that are going on in the world, to just share, um, you know, thoughts and ideas and to motivate others to do the same. And that is the reason why I am launching this newest episode and I'll be speaking on xenophobia and it's it's something that's not fun to talk about but it's something that is happening and needs to be addressed just want to share a few thoughts but before I do what exactly does it mean in the first place and so I have here Alexa who's going to be able to help us uh, define what that is Alexa define xenophobia the noun xenophobia is usually defined as fear or hatred of foreigners, people from different cultures, or strangers. The extreme hatred of foreigners. I was reading another definition. It defines xenophobia as the fear of that which is strange or foreign. And so after reading that, I was like, you know what? I think xenophobia at its, at its, at its finest core is actually the fear of change, the fear of outside, the fear of something that you are not familiar with. When you think about what's happening in South Africa, where you have people of the same color attacking uh, th their fellow human, their fellow Africans, and they're saying that, uh, of course, they have a number of reasons why they do that. They say uh, they took jobs, they they make the um, economic environment for them worse and worse. And some of their points are understandable, but that is in no way, that does not justify you taking another life. That is very barbaric. That is very inhuman. And that needs to stop. And I know me speaking about it is not going to change much. But at least I want everybody who is watching this to do the same. Speak out. Uh, share your concerns. Because here's the thing. If you do not speak against wrong, you are actually encouraging it. So what I'm trying to get you to do is use your social media. Speak up against this act xenophobia must fall not to xenophobia there should be peace now truth is we have said this since 2008 in fact even before 1994 there was some instances of xenophobia so this seems to be a problem interwoven into the very core of the uh, south african culture or at least yeah basically v rooted underneath it and so speaking against it will of course bring some temp temporary relief, but the bigger issue needs to be addressed. Why are people attacking other people? Why is there this hatred towards uh, people from other countries, specifically in South Africa? And to that, I have a few thoughts that I want to share. First of all, there's the issue of unemployment, which is a very big, big concern. Now, to that end, of course, we would think that the government of South Africa should be able to address this issue. Otherwise, these attacks will continue to happen. If the issues of the people are not resolved, we will see more of these um, attacks rising. That's just the unfortunate reality that we have seen proving itself again and again. And so there's a need of stronger governance of a stricter governance, if you will. That's what I think personally. And what's the other problem? The other issue is we really need to come back to true, to the true spirit of Ubuntu. Ubuntu meaning to be human, you know, to love your neighbor as yourself. If this is lost sight of, and I want to I wanna challenge those who oppose or those who think, uh, religion is not important. If these people were, were able to embrace the, the values of, of love, the values of selflessness, wouldn't be having these, these tragedies that are going on. And so with those few thoughts, I just want to say no to xenophobia. It is, it is a barbaric act. It, is, it has no place on earth. It is despicable and it's supposed to be condemned let us all stand and say no to this thing. one more thing i want to point out um 
this thing of xenophobia points out a very bigger and dangerous problem across the continent of Africa, which is that there seems to be there seems to be Afrophobia, where you know we we know that there's there was racism where you have one race hating, despising the other race, which is very, very, which is very, very embodied in the history of and the reality of negro, negro, negrophobia, where we see slavery, etc. But I want to suggest to you that even worse than racism is this idea, this spirit, this unreasonable virus of Afrophobia where you have one African hating the other African when they are the same thing. What's worse than that? Th- that's, that's why, to an extent, we see that Africa is not developing, or it is developing, but disproportionately, where one part is just lagging and lagging, and th- there will never be this true African revolution If the very principles of love and understanding and identity and community are not resolved. So with that being said, I want to encourage everybody to spread the message of love. Sonke Simunye, we are one. Hey guys, one more thing as I close here. I just want to point out that South Africa as a nation, South Africans as people, they are good people. Okay, I'm not generalizing to say that all South Africans are are xenophobic or all South Africans are hateful. I I was there for three years. It was not all hateful. There's beauty. Uh, That's why people go there in the first place. Uh, But I just want to say that uh, it's just the few, few ill-minded, few wicked, few people who, of course, have no love for other people, who have no 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 humanity left in them that go ahead and do these very distasteful and unspeakable things. And so I just want to point that very clearly, spread love, not hate.